Hi, I'm Ash and this is Lockie. For the past three and a half years, we've lived out of our tiny home to explore Europe. We packed up our lives in Australia to experience new places and do new things. After three years, one pandemic and thousands of kilometres later, we find ourselves in Greece, ready to embark on a whole new chapter. This week we explore the beautiful western coastline of Greece along the Ionian Sea. Join us and subscribe to our channel as we travel Greece together. So we've landed in Greece. We're getting off the ferry. Just driving on our fourth, uh, first morning in Greece and uh, the views is beautiful, the water is amazing and it's really quiet, even like all the beach clubs that usually we're used to seeing are still pretty busy in Italy, they're just like very quiet and it's almost 11 o'clock in the morning, so it's not early. Where are we today? Hag, Hagra. Not sure how that's how you say it, but so far the Greece thing is pretty nice. Think of Pagra. Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, there's some fish down there. I was just thinking if we could catch them, we could potentially have free dinner. <laughs> That's why I like. I like your enthusiasm, but. <laughs> Nothing says welcome. Like yours. It smells delicious. Looks good. Yeah. So our first proper park in Greece. Water is amazing and it is just there. So this is the beautiful beach right we're at parked at tonight. Very nice. Absolutely beautiful. Adventure number two with Rocky's diving experiences. Here we go. Lachlan went with his snorkel goggles that he loves and he found this area where there's lots of big fish so he thinks he's going to catch dinner. So let's hope he's right. He reckons they're huge. Huge. 30cm. Like <laughs> Lockie has got himself snagged so he's now going back to the man to get his snorkel so that he can dive under and get the fish off the rock or the reef or whatever it is. It's quite the adventure. So look, he's now retrieving the hook. Huh? Will he succeed? That is the question. This could take a while. Successful. <laughs> Success! The plan to catch the fish is, I'm going to take this, spot the fish, drop it over the fish. And I'm gonna reel it in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, he's made a friend who's helping him catch fish and showing him where the fish are when he wasn't in there with his snorkel. All well, the plan failed, and Lockie's now just scuba diving out there. Not too bad, having a small or whatever, having a great time. So, plan failed. You need a net or a spear. Here you go. Yeah. New toy? New toy. <laughs> never have enough barbecues. So, this is our new, new barbecue, the Foxy barbecue, and it's really good for compact van life. So basically the whole thing folds up and fits into a tiny little bag. And then we're going to test it and see how it goes for food.
so the sausages are going good. Looks good, Lucky. First barbecue in Greece. First barbecue. The police even came to check on the situation and we're all just camped out and it's all good. So we know we're allowed to barbecue and camp in Greece, no problems. <laughs> morning we woke up by the water where we stayed last night. It was a really nice, quiet, peaceful night and we have driven to Akron Springs. We're not 100% too sure what it is, but it looks like a beautiful like uh, river kind of spring that runs through the middle of two mountains or canyons. Um, we didn't really know too much about it, but when we were on our way just to a little town uh, to stop in, um, we saw a sign so we looked it up and yeah it looks really nice so we have driven here. Uh, we haven't really done too much research on Greece because we were just so busy in Italy and really did it so extensively that we just kind of want to relax more and relax by the beach in the van and yeah it's a lot more chilled in, in Greece so we uh, don't want to go so like high pace. <laughs> Is it cold? It's Are we going to walk through it then? I think so. Okay. Apparently up further, if you keep walking through through it, you get to like the gorge bit where you can walk and the canyon kind of rocks is on both sides. We can survive. Freezing. So we've just found a campsite for this afternoon and tonight so we can do some washing and catch up on things because it's been a really busy last few weeks in Italy and I've only hand washed last week so we have a lot of washing. But the park is pretty nice. Okay, Lockie and Ash fans coming to you live. Day three of the Adventure Fishing Classic here in Greece. Yesterday we were really close to some fish but we couldn't catch them. So two. today, ah, shush. So today we've had to do a bit of home remedies, I suppose you could say, because the store was closed. DIY. So we made a ski pole with a fish hook in the end. I'm gonna try and stab the fish and then swim with it till it dies. I'm gonna have dinner, fresh fish. Ashley thinks I'm an idiot, but kerr, kerr. It's gonna, it's gonna be a game changer when I come back with like six fish. And Ashley's gonna be like, oh, what am I having for dinner? And I'll be saying, oh, I'm having fish and chips. So anyway, back to the story. The store was closed so I couldn't get a knife or uh, anything. So this is the home remedy. There's fishing line under there no tied on. DIY. DIY, whatever. So there's fishing line tied onto the hook with duct tape going around just for extra security. And yeah, here we go. Fresh fish, some sort of fish in Greece, I don't know. Anyway, I can't take the GoPro with me because I have too much going on. But when I come back, people, you're gonna hear about it. I can guarantee you. <laughs> so I assume a lot of you are probably looking at this right now and thinking, well, maybe the fishing spear wasn't such a good idea, Lockie. Yeah, I get that. I do, it, to be 100% honest, probably wasn't my best idea. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it, though. I did it. No fish. None. Zero. Zilch. But. The water was very dirty and I couldn't actually see any fish to try and spear. So we need to go somewhere a bit more cleaner, like a bay area I think. Like last night would have been perfect, but a bit unfortunate. A bit disappointed I didn't catch a fish. Anyway, Wi-Fi sucks balls here. A bit disappointing when you pay for a campsite and Wi-Fi sucks. So heads up for all you campsites out there maybe watching this. Wi-Fi please. So we're just mapping just to go to a supermarket a little inland a little bit off the coast and like we could see as we went to turn um, like a big N it was like marked that there's like a amphitheater or stadium ruin so we just quickly drove down the road like a couple hundred meters to see. They're obviously doing works on it but 
we've just arrived in Prabhadva, Vesla, I think the name of the town is, and we're going to check it out. It's just one of the bigger towns before we get to Left Kadal this afternoon. So we were just walking and we walked past an Uzo distillery, distri distillery. So we went in and we got a little bottle that's wrapped for three euros fifty. 